Hi everyone, so this has been a highly requested in one of my Just Try It series of videos. So I'm going to show you how I use my corsets and what I'm going to be doing over the course of, I don't even know, three months that I'm doing my workout program. So I'm going to show you three corsets and how they work and why I think they're great and which ones I've been using more, less, and everything in between. The camera is going to be focusing obviously mainly on this point of view. So I'm sorry if this bothers anybody, but I'm obviously showing the corsets and not my face at this moment so here we go so at this point this is my stomach and as you can see it's pretty straight I do want to have more of a curve in my hips which is why I initially wanted to try corsets but the other reason was because when I had my daughter I wanted my stomach to be flat postpartum so as you can see my stomach is pretty flat the way it is but again it doesn't really have those hips so that's what a lot of people try to achieve with corsets. So the first corset that I'm going to be showing you from my Just Try It video where I explained what I'm going to be trying, and you can check those out as well, is this corset. Now this is a professional corset. I mentioned this before in my video. This is a leather and steel boned corset. So what that means is that this is a heavy duty corset. This is not something that you buy at Walmart, this is not something that you just buy on a whim. This is something where you need to know what size your current waist and hips are, and then buy this with some knowledge of how to use and carefully put on a corset and wear a corset. So I will show you how to do that when you buy a corset, and I will link below what recommendations I have for steel boned corsets. And steel boned just means these straight pieces right here are steel in between the leather fabric. So this is not really bendable, although it's not very, very hard steel either. It's just right. And then there's gonna be a portion of the corset that's just leather. So you're seeing steel bone, leather, steel bone, steel bone, leather. So that's how the corset works on the inside. What that enables the corset to do is to obviously start shaping your body because it's putting pressure with those steel bones. So obviously this is the back, I'm just showing you. So the first thing that happens is when you get a corset, it's not gonna be weathered. And what weathered means is that it's worn in. So you can see that this corset is kind of twisted, it's a weird shape, it's, it's bent. So you're probably thinking like, what is wrong with that? When you get a corset, it is not like this. It is a straight, flat corset. It doesn't have any of these twists and turns. That is from wearing and weathering my corset. You always want to break in your corset little by little. The reasons why people get hurt using a corset is the same reason people get hurt at the gym. They try to do too much too soon and that doesn't work. You have to be careful. This is your body. This is something you're trying to transform. So you're going to want to have the right information. When you first get your corset, you're going to want to try it on. And I believe that this is an 18 inch corset that I bought. Yes, this is an 18 inch corset that I bought. The reason I bought an 18 inch is because my waist is about a 23, 24. So I needed a smaller size. Now the thing is, even though it's an 18, it's an 18 when everything is tied together and the two sides are completely tied together like this. So if I can close this entire corset on my back, that means my waist is essentially 18 inches. I ain't gonna try to go there, not gonna lie. I just wanted to get something that I can tighten because I am a smaller person. The other thing about this corset is that it is an underbust. Why do I want an underbust corset? For me personally, I just like these better. There are a lot of corsets that go higher or lower. Some go down past your hip area. It's personal preference, but in my point of view, I think these are the most comfortable. I've tried other ones, and I always go back to the ones that only cover this portion of your body. The first thing you wanna make sure to do before you put on a corset is to loosen the corset. And a corset is made of what looks like shoelaces. So you've got two loose ends that you're gonna to tie together. They are intertwined into what looks like crisscrosses like a shoelace, and it works just like shoelaces. So there isn't, the only thing that you have to remember is there's an upper portion of the strings, 
and there's a lower portion. So it's like twins. You've got two on the top, so you can see that these are coming out of the first four holes. You have four down here as well. So when you wanna tighten them, you're gonna pull these. When you wanna loosen them, you're gonna start from the middle and pull those strings and then pull the corresponding strings up here. So it's just like a shoe. You're gonna loosen up the ones that you would tie and then quickly loosen up the ones that are going to tighten them. So the other thing is this flap right here needs to be against these cords. The reason why is because these can hurt your skin. So when you're putting on the corset, especially for the first time, you wanna make sure that number one, you have it on the right way. You're gonna know that by probably the tag. Mine's from Orchard Corset. I'll leave the link below. And you're going to wrap it around you. At the same time, you're gonna make sure that flap is against your skin like this or your back. I always wear a shirt when I wear my corset. I think a lot of people do. Um, possibly some people wear it right under their clothing, but I don't and I never have. So as you can see right now, I'm about to lock my corset with the clamps on the front. So I'm just showing you the back flap and that's the way it's going to look. From the front of the corset, I usually go from the bottom up. So you wanna hook in that first hook, just like that. And then use your two hands up here to hook in that one, the next one, and then finally the next one. So now the corset is secure, just like that. The other thing to remember is that if you cannot comfortably hook these hooks, the corset's too tight. Right now, the corset is very loose. You can see from the side, there's no pressure here. You can see from the underneath, no pressure. I usually pull down my shirt and I wore a white one just for the contrast so you guys could see all of the strings back here. You're going to have these two loose ends of the strings. That's important because the first thing you're going to do is pull those strings. The first time you ever wear your corset, you wanna do this pretty loose. You want to be able to still put your fingers inside the upper part and the lower part. So you're just gonna pull those strings and as a matter of fact, this is all I would do. I wouldn't even tighten, see how these are loose? I wouldn't even try tightening that part of your corset. That's just my advice from wearing a corset. And then what you're gonna to wanna to do is crisscross the straps and bring them around the front and tie them. The reason I always tie my corset around the front, if you can, and you probably will be able to do this if you have the right size, is because in the event, this has never happened before, but in the event I have, for whatever reason, tightened my corset too much, I don't want to be fumbling in the back of my corset with these strings that I cannot see. I want to quickly be able to take my corset off. I don't want there to be anything where I have to struggle with the straps. I just think it's way better. If you cannot do that, then just go ahead and tie them in the back, but you should be able to do that if you have the right size corset. So the first time you wear a corset to break it in, you're only gonna wanna wear it for one hour. So you're gonna walk around. Now I wouldn't do a lot of like bending over, it could really hurt you and don't tie it too tight where you can't breathe. When you get used to the way a corset feels, I actually like it because it just tucks everything in and it gives me really good posture, which is rare for someone who sits on their computer all day. When you get to the point where you've worn it for an hour, I would take it off obviously and rest and then the next day I would do it another hour and probably after a week of wearing the corset, I would start tightening it the way that it was intended to be tightened. So the next time you put on your corset after you've been training yourself by just wearing it with these straps pulled to a comfortable position, you're going to start adjusting your corset so that these two sides start to come together. It's going to be a gradual process. This is how I tighten my corset. People might do it a little bit differently, but like I explained, for every top portion of these laces, there is a bottom portion. The bottom portion is what's pulling those two sides together, and the top is just where you're doing those adjustments. So the first portion of the corset that you're gonna to wanna to tighten are these two top strings. They're coming right out of these eyelets right here on both sides. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is pull those. What this is doing is it is putting pressure right here and all the way around the top 
portion of your corset. So you are tightening that under bust portion right here with these two straps. Immediately after you pull those really tight, not really tight, you know, come on, give yourself some breathing room. While still holding these two tightly, you're gonna wanna grab the next two strings coming out of the eyelet and you're sort of gonna switch and now pull those two strings. So these are in the shape of a circle. You can see that they're attached. So you're gonna pull those, and what those two are gonna do is tighten the middle portion. So that's the portion right here that really defines those hips. So you're gonna pull those tight. And then the next strings you're gonna pull are those two loose ones that we started with. And as you see, it's pulling in and tightening my corset on the top. Now we're gonna go ahead and do the bottom. We did the top, now we're doing the bottom where our hips are. Same strategy, just always make sure that the strings are over this leather flap. You're gonna pull the first two tight, then you're gonna go up the corset, pull the next two just like you did above. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna bring in the hip portion down here, and you can see it's tightening it up real tight now. Then when you get up to this portion, you're gonna to wanna to tighten the two strings that we initially started with one more time. And as you can see at this point, the corset is tighter. These two sides have moved together. And then what I normally do, I crisscross these, I bring them to the front, and I tie them. Now you can see my hips have been brought in a lot. See that? Brought in a lot. And at this point, I still have room up here. I don't have as much room down here. So this is tighter than my under bust. I normally would tell you if this is the first time wearing a corset, you're not gonna even wanna tighten it this much. You'll know when you feel uncomfortable, but try to be comfortable for the first month of wearing your corset. There's no reason to rush wearing a corset it is a gradual process, so you don't wanna rush into tightening this. You can gradually tighten it and incorporate workouts and other things to go along with your waist training. You don't need to rush this. You don't need to have a really tight corset right when you begin this process. And as you can see, it's tightened pretty well at this point, but it's not as tight as I can make the corset because I've been doing this a long time. So I can tighten it more and I'm gonna show you that now. So I told you that the portion of the corset that was still loose was the upper half. I might not even tighten the bottom because my hip bones tend to hurt me a lot if that is tighter. So see how much I can still pull this in? So I'm going to pull Grab the next two, pull those. And pull the two strings that we started with. When I pull my strings, sounds really funny, I literally take them in my hands and then wrap them around my index fingers. And then I kind of slide my fingers down the string and then I pull up into the sides like that. Then I just crisscross and tie in front. This is as tight as I wear my corset. I don't really need to wear it any tighter at this point because I'm just starting to do this regimen again. I usually walk around the house, I do my makeup. I don't try to do too many strenuous activities when I'm wearing the leather and steel boned corset. When you're trying to take your corset off, it's very easy to do. Unlacing and sort of pulling the underneath of the straps one by one. So right from the two straps down, and right from the two straps up, and you'll start to see it loosening up, and then you can just unhook your corset. That's it. After you wear your corset for a little while, you might notice lines in your belly, don't worry about it, they'll go away. I'm gonna show you two other corsets in two more videos. One of them is going to be this breathable mesh type corset that you can wear working out, so be on the lookout for that video. And I will create a playlist for all these videos. The other one is going to be this spandex version that clamps like a bra in the front and zips up. You might have seen these, these are 
good for compression, they're good for after you work out, and I'm gonna show you this in another video as well and tell you how to use it just like I did in this video. So look for my playlist. If it hasn't been created yet, it will be here soon, and be on the lookout for these videos. Well, I hope this video has been informative and I hope that I've helped you make your choice on whether you wanna try some waist training with a steel boned corset. If you wanna follow me along, I am gonna be doing a workout program and it's by Zoe Rodriguez. I've used this before with amazing results. I used her booty program and now I'm using her full body program. I will leave the link for that below and I would love you to follow along with me. I wanna make it a interactive, engaging process where we could talk about you know, our ups and downs with working out. So look for that below and come talk to me on Twitter or Instagram. And I'm looking forward to hearing from all of you guys. Don't forget if you want me to try anything, hashtag just try it and tag me on social and I will choose one of your suggestions. And if I do and create a video, I will shout you out in it. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next one. Do you want to stay? Don't you, don't you want to stay? Because I don't want to chase them.